Hello Total Geek Nation, this is TG and Draxis. We're going to keep this introduction as short as possible so we can get right on over to the desktop capture that I've already done. I've already recorded a bulk of what I want to talk about. But in a nutshell, this particular segment is going to spotlight Webroot's new internet security suite called uh, Secure Anywhere S2. It's a cloud-based uh, internet protection, uh, which is really cool. It's been done before, but this is definitely the best iteration of it I've ever seen. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at the video footage from earlier. Alright, All right, everybody. Welcome to Total Geek Nation. Uh, we are doing technically two software spotlights today on two different products. One of them is Cam Studio, which I'm writing on the bottom. The reason why I say that is because I've done this spotlight for Webroot like ten times today. Like ten times, literally. And what I finally discovered was that Fraps was doing a horrible job. When I finally got through to editing and trying to get it loaded to YouTube, I went to watch the product after I'd edited it together using Premiere and all that stuff, and lo and behold, it looked like garbage, and I made, I was angry. I was genuinely angry. So, so this is going to be kind of quick, because I'm kind of tired of doing this one today. Um, and so, so this is two software spotlights, one for Webroot Secure Anywhere and a virus security suite, okay, and one for Cam Studio, because if it works and it gets uploaded, that means Cam Studio did a good job. Okay, so now, that being said, let's look at Webroot Secure Anywhere. So I want to point out a couple of things here. You know, first of all, your overview page is pretty cliche, it's pretty normal virus protection stuff. You are protected, it's telling you that it's active scan my computer, all that good stuff. On the left hand side here, you've got your main navigation panel, which is PC security next. So this is where, this is more detailed scan information. So keep in mind, you can scan from the overview. So a more, a more detailed scan page, which is nice, okay? And this will also let you activate and deactivate your different shields that are available, the firewall, look at your, some of your quarantine settings, which is nice. You have your identity and privacy settings, so this is basically anti-phishing. Uh, it does include a backup and sync uh, program, but I'm not really interested in using that. I, I back up a little bit differently. And system tools. So, kind of neat, and I'll kind of go over some of these system tools later, because this is actually one of my favorite parts about the virus protection suite. But I want to talk about two things. Two really annoying parts of virus protection. Um is the amount of time and the amount of PC CPU usage that's taken up by doing a by doing an update and the amount of CPU usage is taken up by actually performing the scan. So one really nice thing is it won't do either of those things whenever you're in a full screen application. So it's not going to ever bother you. I like to, let me rephrase it. It's not even gonna, it's not even going to give you firewall prompts and things like that when you're in a full screen application. That's its gaming mode, which is nice. So right off the bat, I know I'm not going to be bothered in any way, shape, or form while I'm playing a full-screen video game. Hooray! Okay. Now, Secure Anywhere is actually Webroot's attempt, a very good attempt, by the way, um, at cloud-based internet protection. So the reason why I say that cloud-based is even important to bring up is because if you will notice, tell me, when I, when I, when I flipped through those panes here on the left-hand side, where is the update button? Where, where do you go to set your, your regularly scheduled update so that you get your up-to-date virus um, definition so that you're protected from the latest sets? I don't see it. Do you see it? Let's look under settings. There's scan schedule. Jewel, but where's the back? Where, where's the update? I, I, I don't see anything for updates. Well, that's because there isn't. All the definitions are housed off-site via the cloud. So one really, really cool thing is, is that when an update is detected, or when a new update is detected, and Webroot uh, gets it taken care of, they add those definitions to the cloud, and then every user, without doing an update, is immediately protected from the new threat. That is incredible. So that's one thing that addresses time, is so you don't have to worry about that happening. Now you do still have to run the occasional PC scan, just to make sure you're in good standings. So let's look here. 47 minutes ago, I ran a scan on 17,917 files, which granted is not a lot, but it took 46 seconds to do that scan. That is the fastest scan I have ever done on this computer. So totally impressed. 
So when I have a virus, when I have antivirus, when I have an internet security suite, I want it to be lightweight. I don't want to know what's there. I don't want it to shoot all these pop-ups at me. And I want to know that I'm safe. So far, I feel like I'm very safe with this on here. Um, the shields are really cool. Real-time shield, behavior shield, and core system shield is pretty normal stuff. And realistically, so is the web threat shield. These are technologies that are not by any means new. Real-time is basically the localized scan that keeps you safe, monitors what you're doing. Behavior shield is basically looking for behaviors that are us that usually accompany malicious software. Um, the web threat shield is pretty cool. It basically... Whenever you browse the web, whenever you do a Google search, it's going to put little check marks next to the things, and it's basically scanning links before you click them, so that you so that you know preemptively whether or not it's a malicious link or not, which is really awesome. And it's also going to be, you know, looking for under and, and that kind of goes under identity and privacy as well. It's got lots of anti phishing technologies built in. It's got things to point you to when there's not a padlock on the URL or when it's not a secured website so that you're not getting you know fished by some of these scam websites so that's good um, firewall now I love having a high quality detailed firewall on my computer but the problem with firewalls is they're typically annoying they typically give all kinds of these pop-ups that are annoying and too much and they just throw too much data around now I like to be able to go in and look and see what's trying to access my computer. I like having all of these things. This is nice. What I don't want is it to constantly spit crap at me. Webroot has basically got it in the cloud to know how to tell whether a program is legitimate or illegitimate. And for the most part, can make a decision for you. I've yet to see a single pop-up. And you'll notice under you know my network applications here, uh, where did I see it? Like TeamViewer is allowed. Yay, I use TeamViewer a lot. Uh, where else I see it? Steam automatically allowed. I didn't have to come in here and make these these changes. They're just done. League of Legends launcher allowed. They're just done. They know. It already knows. So I've been so far very thrilled with that. That's great. I've been very happy. I haven't seen a single pop up from it. Hooray! Um, quarantine. All this stuff is pretty normal. However, I do want to point at this anti malware tools down here. This is pretty neat. Reset desktop wallpaper. Reset screensaver. Reset system pro uh, policies i.e. enable task manager, reboot in safe mode, and perform an immediate system reboot. These are all really, really cool features. Every, everybody's removed a virus before and then still found their computer left in shambles. This obviously can't fix the really heavy shambles, but you know, if something's missing, like task manager, which is a virus issue I hate, you know, an easy way to get it back without having to know how to go in and, and, and mess with your registry files and get those things fixed. Reset screensaver. Awesome. Reset desktop wallpaper. Easy to do without having this, but nice to have. Reboot in safe mode, granted, if you're watching this video, you probably know how to boot in the safe mode, but if you've ever had to explain it to somebody, that can be annoying. So all those things are pretty cool. That's you know basically it as far as the features, and I say that's basically it with a grain of salt because that's a lot of features considering this next point. One of the things I mentioned earlier was that I want my virus protection to be lightweight, I want it to be fast, I don't want it to bother me, and I want to feel safe. This for all of these features, it's a 600 kilobyte application. That is it. So, obviously, obviously, with the enthusiasm of this video that I'm tired of shooting because I've done it like 11 times now, this is good stuff. I'm really, really excited to have Webroot secure anywhere on my computer. I hope this helps you in making a decision as to what virus prediction you're going to go with. Um, thank you for watching. This has been this is TGN Draxus with TotalGeekNation.com. Uh, subscribe below, like um, a favorite. Hey, I mean if this was that exhilarating and you feel the need to favorite, I probably wouldn't favorite to be perfectly honest. But at least like it. Okay, if you like it, comment below. If it's not constructive, I'll delete it. You know the drill. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Catch you next time.